Andy Warhol in it? No. I'm just making music videos, like, you know. Sometimes I, I, I do a lot of street interviews, and then sometimes I just pick up footage and make, like, you know, put music to it. Oh, that's cool. Not my Facebook thing. You know, I interview all kinds of characters. Tired today, though, you know. Yesterday was a big day. <laughs> I scored some big interviews up there. Today I'm just... Maybe get squirrels or just, like, interesting things. I don't know, put music to it. Oh, that's cool. You know, like, you on Facebook? Uh, not right now. Yeah. Not right now. What I'm, you I'm kind to? of redeveloping what? my social network for more professional purposes. But I, well, I want to get on, it's like, some kind of, like, you know, maybe, like, maybe social personality or radio or something, like, on the internet or something, you know, because, I mean, I can't really, I don't know, it's hard to do it locally because the FCC and all that, you know, I mean. Yeah, I mean, I mean. It's not impossible these days to, to do something like that in successfully, like, in local days. Yeah, I mean, like Howard Stern or something, or Bagger, just, you know, just be honest. I mean, you gotta watch, you know, you gotta watch out what you say. I don't wanna, I'd rather just, like, be honest, like a real, like, honest show, like, have honest guests, like, something, you know, different, like, you know, I mean. Well, Howard Stern is a classic example of somebody who became utterly corrupted, right, by his interaction with Third Channel. <clears throat> yeah, but he just, he just found a whole bunch of, uh, you know, just misfits and just, like, you know, put them all together, like, you know, and just. That's how, I mean, I, I came from the theater. I worked in human services. I mean, how much more, you know, you know. You got the background for it. You know? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, well, when I was 20 years old, I went to acting school. I took theater arts. Then I spent about seven years in that. I was in California. I just gave up on it. You know, I came back. Then kind of got hooked in gambling. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how I found human services. Then I went to the field. And it was just it's like, I could be here for years, you know, because then you learn how you, you really can't be honest with people. Every time I was counseling people, I'd get in trouble, you know? You know what I found out? Like, every time I was counseling, all, all the girls would fall in love with you, like, you know? Absolutely, that's really because, important. yeah, because they develop a crush on your counselor, you know? And I'm like, what the hell am I doing wrong? You know, I mean, you know, it, and it's hard because they're all, they all got illnesses and everything, it's hard, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's a crazy field. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I took a job, like, like doing, I was, like, getting acting together, like, at, a, at, at this place, you know? Doing acting with the people. At first, everyone was into it, but then they all, they're all on their meds, like, you know, they didn't want to do it no more. All they wanted to do was eat and drink coffee. Yeah. I'm saying there's something wrong with it. And I got to Albert Ellis, I'm like, well, he's, he, he has, he has this, this way of getting over it without giving you more meds and more meds, you know, because then you got to take another med for this med and that med, you know. I mean, isn't that, I mean, I mean everything they do in the social thing is, is screwed up, you know. The welfare system the same way, you know, the, the mental illness, everything, you know. Yeah. I mean, if I did overnight talk show, I mean, that's what I would love to just have a job, just overnight talk show, just have all kinds of people call up and just have fun, like, you know, I mean, I mean, it's up, I mean, look, look at this state, how, how bad it's become, everyone's got, like, rent vouchers and everything, like, you know, it's like the, you wouldn't believe, because I grew up in, in Troy, like, you wouldn't believe growing up, the city was alive, everything was alive, man, I mean, just, everyone knew each other, man, you could leave your doors open, you know. Nowadays, what's what's the big thing around here, man? Joni and security locks. You know, I mean, everywhere you go, everyone's got, you know. Locking it down. Yeah, yeah we never had that. No, it's, well. well where are you from originally? I'm from here. From here? Well, you you see how, how it was up in the city, like, you, you know, I mean, in the 80s, like 90s, stuff like that, I mean. It's been kind of steady decline over the course of my life. I wasn't here in the 70s, so it's gonna you just watch it descend. It's a little frustrating. Well, I went to that school. Uh, really? Yes. Yeah, so St. Mary's? Yeah, it was St. Mary's. It was a Catholic school. My mother even taught there. She taught first grade for a while. That's how it was, you know. So you really have lived, like, in this area, this area all your life? Well, I left it for a while. I was oh, in Boston. Like I was in Brookline. I was in Boston. Like Brooklyn. Yeah, Brookline. Then I was in, well, I went to California, I was in uh, El Toro, I don't know if you heard of it. El Toro. It I know, it was kind of like a new development when I was there. I mean, I was kind of near Laguna Beach, you know, it was like, and then, you know, near Newport and stuff like that, you know, it's... I mean, when I first got there, it was just like, you know, I was like a kid in a candy store, you know, you gotta be kidding me, you know. You know, it was just unbelievable, but I just... You're young, like, you know, you're young, yeah. I'm waiting for this guy to show up and trying to show him the stuff. So what kind of network are you going to do? I, well, right now I'm, like, applying to graduate school and stuff, so, I mean, it's, I'm really, that's my primary focus. Can you make money doing it, or? 
I do anything just to make money. If it's something, you know, you can just communication. You don't really gotta put too much sweat into it. For, you know, just you know. For, I mean, I, <clears throat> now something easy, something with, with, with communicating, like you know, speaker. You know, because I can. Well, this is definitely not like that. This no. Is, no. What are you gonna do? Like get people together? I don't know. No, I'm talking about in terms of like right now. I'm not like talking about building a big social network. I'm talking about redeveloping my existing social. Hi. Hi. Nice Hi. talking. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Sorry about that. Wow. My science are all clogged up today. That's why I went like that. Yeah, it felt good though. Well, I guess we got a radio interview out of it. We did feed the squirrels. I was circling around here for a while. I kept on seeing Liz. I didn't really want to talk to her today. Like I was telling him, I'm just burnt out, man. From it, you know, you can't really do it every day. You can't. You know. I don't think all the the reporters go out every day. I mean, do they? Yes, they do, man. So stop whining. They say bullshit, man. <laughs> You're gonna be the freaking best or, or, or else. I don't wanna hear no bullshit from you, man. Tired. Tired. Work, man. Work. Be the best. Stop this bullshit, man. Alright, man. God. Okay, hey, God. <laughs>